Okay. Welcome back. Got what have I got to do tonight? Um What I need to be doing is cutting some hay here in the next few days. Um I got a machine I've got to test out, which isn't finished yet, but I'm in the process of finishing it. And so I need to cut some hay, so I got some something ready to try it out with and um I'm needing to fix this mower so I can go and cut the hay in the first place. Um, I thought about, I think I might have talked about this before, but if I haven't, this is a, this is a Reese 2400 mower. And I bought this, when did I buy this? Far oh, about three or four years ago now. Second hand from a guy just down the road. I think I paid about 800 bucks for it. Well, when I got it, the belts were in pretty bad shape and so I think oh, a couple of years ago I phoned up to see how much they wanted for a set of belts from uh, the dealer over here in the States and they wanted some silly amount of money it was close to, I'm pretty sure it was close to $500 for the two belts and I said you know I didn't even pay what did I pay for it seven eight hundred dollars for it so you can see why I was a bit reluctant to spend that kind of money on a set of belts for it. So anyway, I've ordered some, I ordered some belts, and they've been sat in a box since last year. And they just need put on there. Um, and this last time I used it, the belt started disintegrating. As you can probably tell right here, there's a big old chunk missing. And so, um, yeah, I need to put them on there. I think the easiest way to do it is going to be to hook it up to the tractor, so I can... This whole, this whole part here swings back around this way. So I think it'll be the easiest thing to do is put it on the tractor and then that'll take the tension off them belts. I might be able to just thread them, thread the new ones in there pretty easy. I don't know what all entails, what, what this job all entails basically. But anyway, that's one job that needs to be done on it. And then there was something else. Oh yeah, there's a couple of bolts in here. There should be two bolts in there and they've decided to shear off and fall out of there so that's another job so it should be like that so I'm gonna I've got to find a couple of bolts to put in there as well um, anyway let's go and I guess we'll go and get the tractor I got the brush hog on it at the minute so I need to drop that off um, yeah, let's wander up here. I've got to open some gates up and that, and I'll uh, I'll get back to you in a minute. Reason everyone in the last. We might need it. 
this up so we can get it out the gate. It's got like bloody wire laying on there. I don't know how well you can hear me with that thing running. But uh, anyway, it's hooked up. We'll pick it up and then I'll um, see if I can't get it folded up. Ah. simple machine there's no real um, there's nothing really apart from a couple of bearings on this machine that can go wrong really in these belts oh shit pop that pin out of there to to fold it up hang on a minute I'll stick you over here and you can watch me fold this thing up now I will say this it is kind of heavy to push back round, but we'll see. Some people, it might have been a problem for some people. Jag är den tätte och kan man komma runt och se om det finns några personer som tar över. 